Coffee Bride! Yes, and uh, right now, we are trying to uh, make discussion in Osapang Den Pisa very exciting for everyone. Because, of course, like yes, because we want mga mamas and papas na you are actually learning something when you watch our videos. And yes. plus, we are able to really do something worthwhile with our time. Now, because mga mamas and papas, we are of different generation. And since Christmas, doki, eh, doki, diba? since uh -oh. November, masyadong maalingaw-ngaw at maraming nalungkot sa separation ni Katniel. Kat <laughs> oh my <laughs> God! Katniel at uh, <laughs> ni Richard uh, Gutierrez and Sarah Lab diba? Labatin. Uh -oh. And then, uh, uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> syempre at saka yung kay uh, Kim Chu and uh, si Yan Lin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mar maraming, yeah, yeah. maraming actually na nag-separate. And we are going to touch, what we are going to discuss is the possible reasons in his generation why he thinks uh, this relationship didn't work out. And then ako naman, as uh, in my generation and in terms of in a marriage. Okay? So, Mga mamas and papas, if you like the topic, do give us a thumbs up, like this video, share, and hit the notification bell, comment kung ano masabi sa topic ito. And Thanks. yes, and please do subscribe, subscribe to the channel. So that naman, mga mamas and papas, we are quite encouraged to continue to do this. Okay, so, dahil yung sa side ni... Oh. Katniel at saka ni Kim Chu at saka si Yan Lim nasa area mo, Doki. Magbigay ka ng 3 to 5 reasons na sa tingin mo at your age. Yeah, 3 to 5 reasons, Doc, na at your age you think is the reason why your generation or like for example, for men, and let's just say, dun muna sa side ni Daniel Padilla. And I think si Daniel Padilla allegedly have other women. That's the reason why they broke up. Si yung kay Kincho naman, allegedly, he is not ready to get married. Oh, so, uh, after uh, 11 years or 12 years yata. So, ano ang mang, uh, opinion mo, ikaw, binang sa side ng lalaki? Kung bakit nagkikiwala yung mga tao? Oo, oh, yung ganyan. Sa edad mo, ha? Uh -huh. So, is it like the guy's perspective? Kasi para, oh, eh, oh, sige, sige, guy's sige. perspective, yeah. Oh, parang, uh -huh. parang, kasi parang, eh, parang, um, people nowadays. So, number one muna, dog. Ano ang nagiging dahilan ng lalaki? Because the guys don't see the little things, the small details. Alam niyo yun, yung mga malilit na bagay na pagpuas ng pinto, pagluto ng favorite food niya, pag, ano yung pag, what do, you mean, what, do, what do you mean uh, they don't so they, they don't they, they don't, they the, they don't the remember they don't do the, 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 the little things alam mo yung mga malit na bagay doktor napapansin niyo eh yung mga simple pag for example ano ano or um, so isa sa dahilan kung bakit hindi nag-work ang relationship sa generation mo is because men doesn't yeah. notice, notice the little the things, things. Oh. okay think about right. it doktor uh -huh. alam mo yung mga simple ano simple um, if you guys gonna meet, hindi ka malilate sa meet nyo, mga ganun. Those little things means much sa partner mo kapag may partner ka. Kasi, ibig sabihin, you respect them, you respect their time, you respect every single about them. Meron ka ba, may kampakesa, magaramdaman na magugustuhan nila, di ba? And for me, having attention to those kinds of details, Gives you a brownie point. A plus point ba, kumbaga, na parang, ay, may pakisya sa akin. Ay, alam niyo yung gusto ko. Ay, he thought about na parang, favorite ko pala yung ganung bagay na yun. So, kaya nga, so, because of that because attitude, of that attitude ang ending, uh, the reason why you get separated with the partner, kasi ang feeling ng girl, hindi mo siya love. Oo. Uh, uh, okay. So, okay. Oh, the, the second, uh, the second, ano, uh, possible reason why uh, your age uh -huh. ends up splitting up. Katulad na nangyari sa kanila, considering na si Katniel 10 years, uh -huh. si Kim Chu mga 12 years. What do you think is the reason why men will not, talbawa, yung uh -huh. kay Kim Chu, tsaka kay, kay si Yan uh, The possibility of he doesn't wanna get married yet after a very ko, long feeling ko, relationship. Feeling ko na-overwhelm eh. Na-overwhelm yung idea of 
marriage. For others, kasi parang marriage is a very big word. Okay. Parang lifetime mo nang kasama yung tao. Okay. And it, it breeds and it breeds uncertainty kasi syempre, ang hirap nga namang sabihin na siya na yung kasama ko pang habang buhay. Ang hirap kasi na yung buhay mo tumatubo lang sa isang tao. And that's ang dami-daming bagay sa nakapalibot sa Ang dami-daming distraction eh. Na, at tendency ngayon, nakoconfuse yung sarili mo kung ano ba na totoo gusto mo. Kung gusto ba yung tao yun, di ba gusto yung tao yun. Kaya, in, ang edit lang, gusto mo makasama yung tao yun, nakoconfuse ka eh. Kasi eh, hindi mo malam kung talagang masaya ka ba kasama yung tao yun. Kasi ang daming, sobrang daming distraction sa mundo. Sobrang daming uh, pwedeng gawin sa mundo. Sobrang daming magkakaroon ng gusto sa mundo to the point na hindi mo feel kailan ka maging ready. Okay, so in other words, the possibility na for a guy not to get committed yet is because there are so many choices oh. and possibilities oh. out there that until they do not feel secure, uh, you know, complete oh. within themselves, they will not be able to go to the next step oh. and commit to that girl. Totoo. Okay, so the third dog. Tapos ako naman, tatlo. Oh, ano ba? Ang third reason kung bakit nagbibiwalay is ano eh, wala na kayong, wala na kayong connection. I mean, wala na kayong ginagawa together. Yun yung parang feeling mong common issues bakit nagbibiwalay, bakit nagbibiwalay, bakit nagbibiwalay, bakit nagbibiwalay. Because, hindi na nagkaroon, naging stagnant na yung relationship ni Kat Niel at ni, ni, ni Kat, ito rin Bernardo at ni Daniel Padilla. Kasi, they lost their connection. They lost the connection to the point na wala na silang ginagawa together, wala na silang mga projects together, wala na silang, alam mo, hindi na sila in jive na mayroon silang one common goal, helping together achieve that goal. And thus, nawawala ng purpose or direction ng isang relasyon. Kasi nga, wala na kayong pinag, wala na kayong parang pinagpaplanuhan together. Kaya tingin ko, doon nag-start lahat kung bakit naghiwalay si Kat, Ring Bernardo, at si Daniel. Uh, okay. So ako naman, <laughs> so yan, point of view ng lalaki yan. Ako mga mamaps and papaps, on the point of view ng somebody who also failed in their marriage after 21 years. So the one thing that I can say is that uh, really mga mamaps and papaps, whether you like it or not, it is really very important na in any relationship or in anything that you do, there must be something that's holding you both. Now, Others, like for example, in marriage, katulad kay Richard Gutierrez and uh, uh, kay Sarah Labati, is probably their children. Now, the thing is, even if your children is holding you, what is allowing you to really stay connected? Kasi, as I said, there's too much freedom already nowadays. It's more self-centered. Kumbaga, I'm not happy anymore, bye-bye, or I don't like this, bye-bye, you know. There is no commitment anymore in uh, rich, uh, for richer or for poorer, you know, in sickness or in health, you know, until death do us part. There's no value in it anymore because once you hit a certain problem, uh, the first thing you do is you escape on it. And uh, ako personally, mga doc, is without getting into much detail in my marriage why it failed i believe that one of the cause of its failure is not having god as a center in our relationship because honestly mga dokis without god as a center of your relationship you are free to do anything you can become immoral you can choose what 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 you want to do be irresponsible whatever it is because at the end of the day there is no boundaries. standard or, or boundaries on what and what you cannot do. And how are you going to treat your wife and at the same time how you're going to treat your husband. Because the children can hold you as much uh, at a certain level, but once you nga, I'm not happy anymore or I'm not, <laughs> then at the end of the day, that person will choose their own happiness. Unlike when you have God as a center of your relationship, then you are very much aware on how you are going to treat your wife and how you're going to treat your husband. Okay. The second thing is, I believe, is economics. 
one of the things why, you know, relationship nowadays uh, doesn't really flourish is because both partners are very in tune on how much it will cost them to build a family. So just like housing, education, food, shelter, and because that is bugging down on them. And anyway, you can get it for free. <laughs> so why tie yourself up and get married? You know? So economically thinking, it's a lot cheaper if you really stay single. Now, the problem is, is that if you don't have a good family planning, you might end up having a lot of first child in different uh, women. <laughs> and then I believe is the the state of, as I've said, uh, mga mamaps and papaps do watch our previous videos about what is the difference of the generation and versus mine. And I think I, I, uh, this has something to do also why relationship frequently um, get separated nowadays and like before is the entitlement. Because precisely when you are in a relationship, you need to give. You know, you have to learn how to give to the person. But if you are entitled, you're not gonna think gonna be thinking of how to give. But you're going to be thinking of what to, to take. What you know? So what's in it for me? You know, I I'm not happy, I'm not satisfied, I'm not reaching my goals, you know, all this I'm I'm I'm. And if you're I'm I'm I'm, then the ending there is you are demanding from your partner to fulfill the things that you, you cannot fulfill yourself and then you feel you are entitled to it because you are spending money on her or you are spending ma uh, time on her or whatever it is that you think you are investing with your f partner so at the end of the day if you do not reach that you break up so yan ang sa tingin ko na the reason why this uh, these three are not working out yung feeling ko lang kasi and also other relationship kasi you, you know nakakatawa nga di ba yung mga Instagram uh, message nila na I will always love you BS yun <laughs> di ba <laughs> uh, di ba I, you know, I hope uh, gana, gana yung mga gano'n paano mo naman yung detok ko uh, alam mo uh, if you truly love the person and you know what is the real definition of love then you will not be breaking up with that person but you actually don't love the person. You just feel something for the person. You are emotionally you attached. You just get tired, Doctor. You just get tired. Kaya nga, Doki, sabi ko nga, if you're not God-centered, no. then your definition of love will be different from the definition of love that the Bible states. And that has nothing to do with give and take. Yan yung mga Dokis. At yan ang katotohanan. And that is why Marami talagang relationship ngayon na kahit katatagal, hindi talaga Totoo nagtatagal. Ayan. So, ayan. so anyway, mga mamas and papas, we hope you like our video and stay tuned next week. Bye-bye!